Hello, I'm Francois from Checkmat. In this video, I will show you how the JewelerCast works. The JewelerCast can be described as a wave warping tool. It combines two independent sections, which are the mix section and the shape section. It has been designed to be the companion of two VCOs, such as two Banshee Ridge, for example, but this module can be used to process a lot of different signals, such as external signals or also CV signals. The first section of the dual cast is the mix section. It's actually a three-way crossfader, which allows to crossfade between three different signals. So in the middle position of the potentiometer, you're listening to the first input. So we're gonna take a first signal coming from a Banshee reach. And let's send the output of the mix section into a Mordax data and we will give an ear on that signal. By only using the first input, the mix section can simply be used as a linear VCA. Of course, it can be used for more interesting applications. It is a crossfader and we will insert a second signal coming from a second Banshee reach into the second input. Third input is normalized to the second input. Let's turn the mix potentiometer clockwise. We are now crossfading from one VCO to the second one. So as you can hear, we are kind of mixing the two VCOs together. By crossfading the two VCOs, we are always keeping the same amplitude on the sum of the two VCOs. So we have a 10 volt peak to peak on each output and the sum will always be into a 10 volt peak to peak range. Let's now turn the mix potentiometer counterclockwise. We will now crossfade from input 1 to the result of the ring modulation between input 1 and input 2. Let's change the frequency of the VCOs. So we have those classic ring modulated sounds. This is a diode ring modulator, so which adds a bit of harmonics. Of course, the mix control can be controlled by CV and it has a dedicated attenuator. So in the middle position, we are completely attenuating the modulation signal sent to the mix section. Let's take an LFO coming from a mod Medusa and let's send this modulation signal into the mix CV input. Let's set the two Banshee reach with completely different type of signals. The mod Medusa is producing a bipolar signal. Let's switch it to a unipolar signal. Let's reduce the amount of modulation. The art inverter is set at noon, so we have a total attenuation. Let's switch back to a bipolar LFO and we can now scan through the ring modulation, the first input and the third input, which is again normalized to the second input. The second section of the jeweler cast is the shape section. It has actually two different modes, and those two modes are made to basically add harmonics to the incoming signal. So the shape section provides two types of wave shapers. The first one is a classic six stages wave folder, and the second one is a distortion which can turn almost any signal into a square wave. 
So let's take a sine waveform from a Banshee Ridge and let's send it into the shape input. Output of the shape section will be sent into the Mordax data and we will listen to the signal. The shape section also includes a crossfader that allows the shape section to provide a fully dry signal when the shape potentiometer is set fully counterclockwise. By turning it just a bit, you know crossfading directly with the shaped signal. So we are in wave folder mode and as you can hear we are adding more and more harmonics. The second shape mode is a distortion, like a hard keeper circuit. So again you will first crossfade from the dry signal to the distorted version of the signal. This shape mode also has a bit of cross zero distortion. Like we said this mode can turn almost any signal into a square wave. Of course in both modes the shape parameter can be controlled by CV. So Let's take again a LFO coming from a Mon Medusa. The shape CV input as an attenuator. You can use both sections of the jeweler cast independently, but the module really shines when you combine them together. So it is actually a normalization between the output of the mix section and the input of the shape section. Let's take two signs of different Banshee Reach. So we know crossfading the signs and wave folding the result of the crossfade. Let's switch to the second mode of shaping, so it's the distortion. both sections with a mod reducer. The cast can be used in a lot of different ways. Have a look to the user manual on our website to check different patch IDs. For example, you could take a sign, process it with a wave folder, and then create a 
crossfade between the original sign and the wave folded version in order to create bass zone with wave folding while keeping the low end of your bass zone. Again, have a check with a user manual on the website. By default, both sections of the dual cast are DC coupled. It means both sections can accept very low frequencies signals, even DC signals such as LFOs, random signals, sequencers, so you can crossfade them or even wave shape them. But it is possible to remove this DC component and remove the lowest frequencies of the signal for audio applications uh, such as feedback loops for example. It is interesting to be sure you won't amplify this DC component. To do that you just have to engage the AC switch. The AC switch affects both sections so the mix section and the shape section will have their DC component removed. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.